Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing this look using Max Old Gold Pigment, which is a really interesting sort of gold pigment with a green kind of undertone to it. It's really weird and it can be a little challenging to work with. So I thought I would come up with a really fun and different look using this pigment. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So to start out, I'm using this artist tape that is hardly sticky just to create a nice edge on um, my eye look. I then went in with soft ochre paint pot on this flat top synthetic brush from Coastal Scents and it is from their Infinity line and I just use that to prime my eyes. After that I went in with MAC's um, sculpting powder and this color is called Bone Beige. It's from Pro. You could use something like soft brown for this but I decided to use a lot of face products for this eye look just to be a little bit different. So I just put that across the crease with a MAC 224 brush and blended that up towards my eyebrow. And I then took Emphasize Powder, which I usually put under my eyes um, to set my concealer, and I just used that to highlight my eyebrow a little bit and blended that down into the Bone Beige color. After that, I am taking this color, which is called Blunt. This is a blush from MAC, which is permanent, so you can get it anywhere. And I am putting that all the way across the crease from the outer corner to the inner corner and blending that into the Bone Beige color I put down and I'm using a 217 brush to apply this and I'm trying to get a pretty good concentration of this color I really want it to show through and stand out and then I just went back in with the 224 and a little bit more bone beige just to soften the edges so then I am mixing blunt with raisin blush which is another permanent blush at MAC and I'm gonna start by applying this on the outer corner with the same brush and I really love the red tone this has. I think it adds something a little different to the eye look. So we're just going to apply that really heavily on the outer corner. And then I'm also going to go in and apply that on the inner corner as well. And sort of um, go across the crease a little bit, bit to blend those together. And then I am taking Old Gold Pigment on another 217 that is clean. And I'm going to start off by pressing the color right there on the center of the lid where it's bare and then wipe off the brush and sort of dab over the edges to make it blend in and then go right back in with that mixture of raisin and blunt just to re-intensify those outer corners and make sure um, not too much of the old gold kind of got on top of those. Um, I'm then taking Panther with a MAC 228 brush which is a really tiny um, flat eyeshadow brush and I am going to start by patting this color on the outer corner. Now this isn't the most pigmented wet and wild eyeshadow, they're usually awesome, but this one's not as pigmented as some of the other ones, so I just layered that a bit and um, also put that on the uh, inner corner a little bit. And you know, I just focused it on one area and then dabbed out the edges like I always do to sort of blend. But then I am going to go in with the 217 brush again and just very lightly blend uh, those two together. I'm not putting any extra black shadow on this brush. Basically just blending back and forth through the crease. A little tiny bit of that black is going to kind of show through in the crease a little bit just to darken it up a little bit. So once that's really blended, I'm going to put on some eyeliner. This is a black gel liner from Lancome. I haven't used this in a video so I thought I'd give it a shot and this is the MAC 211 brush and for this liner today I kept the tape on this is a great trick if you have trouble getting a really straight line because it'll make it really easy to give you that really straight line um, but I also wanted to make it really thick today so I you know applied a line across my entire lash line and then really really thickened up and added a lot of length to the um, wing on the outside all right, so once that is done, I remove the tape, and then I'm going in with Black Line Pearl Glide Pencil from MAC, and I'm using that on my lower waterline. And I like this pencil, it goes really well with the look because it's a black base with a greenish gold um, shine to it. It's really pretty. So I applied that, and then I'm taking the mixture of Raisin and Blunt with that little smudgy brush we used before just to um, blend that pencil down a little bit. And that makes a really cool effect when you blend out that blackish greenish gold pencil with the reddish kind of browns. It looks really cool. I put a little bit of panther in the outer corner and then I'm taking a little bit of old gold and just blending that right in the center of the lower lash line. I then put on MAC's 43 lashes, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and then use my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. 
Um, I am then going to finish up my face makeup. I already applied my Giorgio Armani um, Luminous Silk Foundation. And then I just went in with my Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NW15 under my eyes and on my chin and just blended that in with a MAC 130 brush. I've been breaking out a lot lately, so I had to put a little extra on my chin to cover up those um, breakouts I've been having. Um, so after that is blended in, I just went back in with the colors I used under my eye, just because I sort of took them away when I blended the concealer in. Um, and then I just set my foundation using MAC Studio Fix Powder in the color NC20. And yes, this is very full coverage powder to be adding on top of like all that other full coverage goodness. But I do like a really full coverage. That's just me. You guys can do what you wanna do. Um, but like I said, I do really like the full coverage that this gives. Um, and then after that, I used um, my Emphasize Powder again, as usual, to set my under eye concealer. After that, I'm using my Bobbi Brown Bronzer to bronze my face a little bit. And I'm just using a MAC 187 brush to blend that all in. I am then using Raisin Blush as my actual blush. And I used a Duo Fiber brush with this blush just so it wasn't too intense. So, um, because it is pretty dark and I'm really uh, pale, it can become like super dark really fast. So I just used a Duo Fiber to blend it in. Um, I then put Subculture Lip Pencil as my um, lip liner and, you know, same as usual, you know, lined them and then filled them in with the pencil as well just to keep the lipstick wearing longer. And then for lipstick, I'm using this color, which is called Fleur de Coral, and it is coming out on Thursday in stores with Max Fantasy of Flowers collection. It's a really pretty, nudish, light coral color. So yeah, that is the finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, as usual, and I will see you next time. Bye.